Welcome back, WWE Universe, to another exciting episode of Wrestle Suplex. Today, we're diving deep into the potential ways WWE can extend the compelling rivalry between Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso, building up to a blockbuster payoff at WrestleMania 40. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any wrestling updates. Let's get right into it. Jimmy Uso's betrayal of Jey Uso at SummerSlam 2023 was a tragic turn that WWE fans were not prepared for. The idea of disbanding the Usos may have crossed fans' minds, but no one expected it just when they thought the Bloodline saga was coming to an end. That being said, Jey Uso vs. Jimmy Uso is a match that needs to happen at WrestleMania 40. It's worthy of the show of shows and there aren't many people in the WWE universe who would say otherwise. However, WrestleMania 40 will take place April 6 7, 2024, which is more than six months away at the time of writing. Therefore, WWE will have to continue to develop the rivalry that will develop into a singles match on the biggest stage of all. Here are three ways WWE can extend Jimmy Uso vs. Jey Uso. Number 3. Making Jimmy Uso the right-hand man. When the Bloodline saga began in 2020, Jay was made the Chieftain's right-hand man. He was the one who would carry out most of Roman Reigns' orders and make sure he stayed on top with the gold wrapped around him. When Jimmy Uso betrayed Roman Reigns at Night of Champions, the Chieftain turned to Roman Reigns' right-hand man to either set Jimmy Uso in line or ban him from the Bloodline. However, Jay Uso chose his brother over Roman Reigns, ending his tyranny over his brothers. Now that Jimmy Uso has turned against Jay Uso, this could lead to Roman Reigns and Jimmy Uso reconciling to work together against Jay. In the process of joining, Jimmy Uso is able to act as Roman Reigns' right-hand man to ambush his brother with sudden attacks to break his spirit in front of the tribal chief. Number 2. Focus on a tag team match involving Jimmy and Jay Uso. WWE successfully ran the Bloodline Saga for three years before splitting the faction. With that in mind, the promotion can keep Jay vs. Jimmy as a developing story leading up to WrestleMania 40 involving the other members. If fans watched correctly, Solo Sokoa showed signs of frustration against Roman Reigns at SummerSlam 2023. Emotions arose shortly after Roman Reigns mistakenly impaled Sokoa instead of Jay. Furthermore, no one should have been involved in tribal fighting. Therefore, the tribal chief may be forced to remove the enforcer from the faction. With that in mind, the next twist in the Bloodline saga could be the betrayal of the enforcer and aligning him with his older brother. This direction could lead to a tag team match between Jay Uso and Solo Sokoa against Jimmy Uso and Roman Reigns. Number 1. Involve female superstars in the Bloodline saga. The sports entertainment giant doesn't necessarily need to bring in Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa to keep the rivalry between Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso alive until WrestleMania 40. There are other members of the Samon wrestling family who can join the brothers to keep the moving story forward. Two female members who could join this rivalry are former WWE superstar Nia Jax and Tamina Snuka. Nia Jax can stay true to her heel persona and side with WWE SmackDown's new heel, while Tamina can side with Jay to help him ensure justice. In fact, the Usos had made their main roster debut with Tamina. Her involvement in their rivalry could bring things full circle. The possibilities are endless, but one thing is clear, a Jimmy Uso vs. Jay Uso payoff at WrestleMania 40 promises to be an epic showdown. Which scenario do you think would be the most exciting? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe for more WWE updates and analysis. We can't wait to see how this story unfolds. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.